So you might run into this problem. I have Windows 10 Pro. It is the new build 1803. And straight after the build uh, uh, was installed, then suddenly I could not find my computers on the network. So this is a workaround. Uh, I do believe there are many ways to solve this problem. So I'm just going to show you the way that I used and I hope this helps you. Right. Firstly, I just want to acknowledge that um, I went to answers.microsoft.com, uh, Paulie, and here we see the solution. So the first thing you want to do is actually just check that your sharing settings are correct. So you'll go to manage advanced sharing settings and then what you'll want to do is make sure that you have uh, network discovery on. So there you go. Right, the next thing you need to do is make sure you are on the correct um, network profile. If it, you click here and you say public, it's going to immediately hide your computer from all the other computers on the network. So make sure it says private. Private will allow other people on the network to view you or view your files according to the share settings which you've had. So there we go. So all of this was actually correct, but I still could not see uh, any computers on the network and obviously I did the same thing on the uh, computer I have a NAS and uh, here is the NAS so I'm logging in I'm now on remote desktop through to my NAS and I could not find my all my computers that would have been uh, all my hard drives shared drives that should be coming up so in the past I would see all these drives all the shares and they're not there so this is how you solve it even if you did the correct sharing settings and so forth. Even if you did uh, uh, turn on um, network discovery and all these things. So what you've got to do is you've got to go here and you've got to say services. There we go. And you're going to be looking for four things. You're going to go and you're going to look for function discovery pro uh, provider host. So you can look here. Function, where's a EF. Right now, this is actually running, so I'm just going to make sure yeah, you can have it on automatic delayed start. Now, that's very important. Now, here we can see function discovery also must be on, so I've got a delayed start, but you see it's not running, so I'm going to just say here start, and then I'm going to go and look for SSDP discovery. Uh, running there we go make sure that uh, it is uh, on delayed start it's running and then what goes with that is UNP UPnP which is more for your more for your plug and play devices so that they can also see uh, your drive so I just start that one and I'm going to show you what happens once you've done that so now I'm going to uh, minimize that and I'm going to bring you the I'm going to bring you the uh, network from the local computer that I was on. Can you see how the NAS has suddenly appeared? So there is the NAS and okay, it does want credentials. I will do that now, but you can see now the computer has uh, shown itself after I did those settings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, go to the shared folders and you can see there are all these shared folders that weren't previously shown right so to sum up you're going to look for these four things make sure these are running function discovery provider host function discovery resource publication ssdp and upnp and then you'll be able to see your shared uh, devices on your network there we go there's all my movies and so forth okay so thanks for watching cheers